Alright guys, welcome right back to where we left off with another episode of Greedfall. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I want to say I'm sorry if there's any background noise. Um, Tiana yeah. Hawk? She's unconscious. We need to bring her back to her village. She needs to be tended to. We should leave right away. Is she going to survive? Yes, she will heal. They were not shooting to kill her. And we are resistant, you know. The bond empowers us. It gives us the vigor of animals, the resilience of trees. It's undoubtedly for that reason that your alliance is so interested in us. <laughs> He does not mean to harm you. Please, let me... What do you want from me, Ranaikse? We were manipulated by the Alliance. We had no idea that they sought to capture you. We believed their fable of a miraculous remedy. We killed the man that wounded you. He will hunt you no longer. And their governor will have explaining to do. I suppose I should thank you for having pulled me from their claws and bringing me... ...and to have crushed the life out of a few of these parasites. There is indeed a remedy. But I doubt that I can do anything against this sickness that you describe. I don't know it. And I don't see how I could create a remedy that would heal it. Perhaps you could try. We are desperate. This remedy was prepared for a precise purpose. To heal those who escaped the claws of the Alliance. These monsters capture the Sinol Menoi and torture them, bleed them, put things in their veins. Those that do escape are in such agony that our care and comfort are not enough to mend them. That's why I made this remedy. Not for your Malikor. My people have never fallen prey to such sickness. How can you be so sure? Perhaps it's your tremendous resistance that protects you from the sickness. Perhaps. Enon Mil Frichtimen protects us all. Enon Mil Frichtimen? God of a thousand faces in your tongue. The one and many who protects us and our island. They and we are tied and bound, as they are tied and bound to you. Their generosity to our people is infinite, but the crimes of the Renaixi enrage it. After all, perhaps your Malikor is their vengeance. This is strange. The two tracks that we followed have led us to the same name. Enon Mil Frictimin. The god of a thousand faces. But I don't believe he is the origin of your sickness. He protects us. He watches over us. Precisely. We know that the congregation came to this island long ago. A lot longer than we first thought. The Malakor could be a consequence of that first attempt to colonize. A curse cast at that epoch. ...brought back by the first defeated colonists. After all, is it not also the origin of the first guardians of the native legends? Either way, one thing is certain. If there is something, or someone on this island, powerful enough to heal the Malachor, it is certainly him. We need to bring this news back to Constantine. Even if we don't have a remedy yet, he'll be happy to know that we've made progress. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go back to Constantine to inform him. Um, we're actually really, really close to being done with the game now. We're about probably three to four episodes left. I would that, that's what I would say. Because we have four more missions in this story arc and then five missions in the final story arc. So, there's not much left at all. 
And to be honest, I should be able to finish this story arc in like two episodes, to be honest. I think we can <clears throat> get through the remaining missions somewhat fast. And then that final story arc should only take like two to three episodes. So there, we got probably five episodes left. Including this one, probably five. It depends on how long some of these missions are. But I honestly, I'm going to stop looting as much and I'm just going to run through missions and just get them done. My dear cousin, come closer and tell me what brings you... Uh, Constantine, is it true? Are you in great pain? This sickness is horrible, believe me. Now I understand what your mother went through. But you have not come to hear my complaints. Speak, it will give me something else to ponder. I wanted to inform you of our progress made in the attempt to discover a cure. As you advised, I followed the leads shared by our allies, none of which led anywhere. However, they both pointed in the same direction, towards a sort of god that the natives worship. They call him En Onmil Frictiman, the god of many faces. He is very powerful and protects the island. How can you be sure that it's not some sort of myth? Even a superstition. I saw it with my own eyes take shape during a ritual. It is possible that the Malachor is the expression of its vengeance. You are referring to the secret we unearthed. The entire continent is paying today for the errors of our grandparents. It is a terrifying perspective. But if it were true, he must also be able to help us heal. Katasak, my friend. I saw you flinch hearing that name. You were familiar with this being. All of the Donegada know him, even in their flesh. He is dear Freddy. It is with him we make our bond. But we would be surprised that he is at the origin of your sickness. He is generous and only rages when attacked and wounded. I fear that that is exactly what we did, cousin. I know that I ask much of you, but I have no choice. You need to go and find this magical being. I won't survive for much longer. Beg him. Offer him all that he wants, but we must have this remedy. I need it. I shall do all in my power, Constantine, I promise you. But I need to find a way to communicate with him. I was already sent to fight a guardian under that pretext, and it almost killed me. There is a way. A way so sacred that even we, Donegada, cannot use it. Enon Mil Frichtiman decides. It is not I who judges your intentions. Go and find Glendon, the sage of the village council of Dorhagenadu. If he deems you worthy, he will guide you. To be able to speak with him, you must present this seal. It will prove that you are the friend of a member of the council. I had no idea that such a talisman was required. You have not yet been named Mal of your clan, Siora, daughter of Bladnet. When this has come to pass, we will give you a seal that allows you to give voice to your friends when visiting the council. It is a symbol of great trust. Why are you awarding me this? I do not wish to lose the soul who has put their life in my hands. And also, you have proven you are our friend back there in my village. Thank you, Katasak. I will not forget this honor you bestow upon me. And thank you, dear cousin. For everything. Okay. Let's go meet with him. But a after playing this game, I'm excited for uh, Spiders next game. That's the developers of this. I'm excited for their next game. I was excited for their next game before playing this, too, though. Their next game is a game called Steel Rising. And it's uh, it likes to be a Souls-like RPG. And... Um, Basically, it's going to be fucking bonkers. You play as like a, uh, a doll. 
I need to know where to go. Um, but you play as like a, I, I don't know what they are called, but it's basically a doll. And you play as it, and uh, yeah, it just looks cool. It's an alternate uh, history of the French Revolution, I believe. So I, I just think it looks super cool, super unique. And it looks like it has really fun gameplay. And it'll be nice to experience France again. Um, I think the only other time I've ever experienced France in a game was um, damn. Uh, as I was saying, I think the only other time I ever experienced France in a game was uh, this uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. Other than that, I really couldn't name another game with France in it. Well, unless you want to count Dying Light 2 as France. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be, but they use their own names for cities. So I think it's supposed to be France, but I really don't know. It's definitely a European city. Yeah, and Unity is the only game I could think of that takes place during the French Revolution. Another game I'm excited uh, for that comes out soon is, um, fuck, oh, brain damage, I have brain damage, what is it called? Um, God, uh, Return to Monkey Island. So I played one of the other Monkey Island games years ago at this point. And I like completely forgot about them until I saw the trailer the other day for the new one. And I am just, I'm so excited for it now. And I looked into some of their other, the developer behind Monkey Island games, and I looked into some of their other games. And they actually like just released a game like uh, a few days ago. Uh, as of me filming, it's a few weeks ago for you. I don't remember the name of it, but I added it to my wish list so I could uh, eventually download and play it. And then, um, fucking, I found out today that uh, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance released on PS4. I thought it was a PS2 only game and uh, Xbox 360 and Xbox Original. But no, it released on PS4 at some point. I think it was like 2016, but then it got delisted two years later. So, that sucks, because I really would enjoy those games. And they also, all the Transformer games are delisted. I used to play uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. I think I'm PS2 a lot. It was PS2 or PS3. But uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen was such a good game. It was so good. I miss those older Transformer games because they were a lot, majority of them were really good. The newer ones are okay, but they're not like great. And the newer ones were like the cartoony Transformers. It's not the live action ones. And, um, and, I don't know what else I was going to say. But yeah, I found out all those games were originally on PS4 and they delisted them. As well as Deadpool. I thought Deadpool was PS3 and 360. But nope. It also released on PS4. It's just, it's crazy to me that Activision delisted so many games. Like, there's a lot of, I think it was like 10 or so games they delisted all at one time just randomly without saying a thing to anybody. Like, that's fucked up. But oh well. I, I think the only time I've ever had to deal with a delisting that I was like somewhat sad about um, was the GTA trilogy, the original trilogy, not the shitty one that we have now.
god. I the rumor has it that GTA 4 is getting a remaster. And let's hope it doesn't turn out like the trilogy and have those shitty phone graphics. Apparently the trilogy 2 was a success for Rockstar. It's crazy. And the whole GTA Plus thing, I honestly just want to stop buying games from Rockstar. Oh shit. I went the wrong way. Had to have. I hate the level design in this game so much. I did go the wrong way. But yeah, I don't know. I'm really starting to get tired of Rockstar. I don't even want to deal with them anymore. Like, I'm to the point to where, like, it's not even worth me playing their games anymore. Or buying their games, I mean, because... I play them for a whole eight hours to finish the story, and then I'm like, eh, it's boring. Like, Red Dead Online is trash. That's simply because they don't support the game. I fucking hate this level design. Um, but the only reason Red Dead Online sucks is because they don't support it the way they support GTA. I think Red Dead Online would be an insanely awesome multiplayer game if they supported it. But they don't. And GTA Online is just whack because they don't have any meaningful updates. There's a rumor that we're going to get Liberty City in the July update for uh, PS5 and Xbox Series X and S and PC, assumingly. But I doubt it. I really don't think they would do that because it's Rockstar and they're stupid. But if they do, I mean, I'll end up playing multiplayer for like another 300 hours, you know? That's how I have 800 hours in GTA Online. And I would, if they had Liberty City, I would easily throw like another 300 or so in, guaranteed. But I mean, that they would have to have actual content. It wouldn't, would. Hello, it wouldn't just be Sade. a map. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. May I enter? Good day, legate de Sarde. No, this building is close to Renaixe. I am Siora, daughter of Vladne, daughter of Meb. My mother... The Mal of the Red Spears was a member of the Council. All here remember, and the Vorscht Tirse. She was a courageous Mal, but you are not yet Mal in her stead, and you do not carry her seal. I am sorry, Siora. I cannot allow you to enter. I beg your pardon. I did not know. Here is the seal of the Denegad Katasach. ...of the village of Wenshavier. And so you are a trusted friend of the great healer. He must see your true face and find it worthy. Enter. You are welcome. Did he just say you are welcome? No, you are welcome, sir. I give you warm greetings, Glendad. I am Desardé, legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Your merchant congregation sways me very slightly from my part. But you are a current of Katasach. His trust in you makes me stop and look at you. What brings you here? I seek a remedy. My cousin, as well as many other people on our island, suffer from a terrible sickness. We think that only Enon Miel Frictiman can help us find a cure. Really? And Katasach sent you to see me? He told me that the only way to meet with your god was to come and see you. You would judge our worthiness. Judge your intentions? Yes, that I can do. But even if I should do this, you would have many trials to pass. For the path you seek to follow has only been tread but a very few times, and you are the first Renaixe to set foot upon it. We must begin where everything begins. There is a trial, the trial of water. It will show us the reflection of your soul. What must I do? You must go to a cavern and tell me what you see on the seal you will find deep in its center. And this cavern is guarded, I suppose. That is true. But the simplest solution is not always the best. It is a path with many forks. 
I hope you will prove that you understand the spirit of our people and our island. Go now. Show us your true face and return purified by the waters of the cavern. I must leave. Goodbye. Qua Awilam Sig. You have spoken to Glendon as you wanted. Nothing, Nothing else. Thank you. Good luck. Um. Okay, I think we're just going back the way I originally went. Let me see. Oh no. What? Um. It's up here somewhere. So I went the wrong way the first time. Siora, do you know anything about the trial that awaits us inside? My mother passed it during the last election, but it was Vimbar that was elected in the end. Did she tell you about it? A little, but it is a secret trial. It is important that you give your whole heart to it. I know that you must choose your path in your way. Combat is not necessarily the best response, even if it allows you to get to where you are going. If you are confronted with animals, remind yourself that they must feed, and there are ways of altering food to make those who eat it fall into a deep and peaceful sleep. Hmm. Is that an idea that your mother used? It's clever. Thank you. She's trying to tell me not to use combat, Look, knowing damn well that it's going to be her who uses combat. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> Did not mean to do that either. Jesus. Sleeping potion? I don't even know if I have that. Is that haze? Let me see. Um. Nope. I don't have sleeping potion. Sleeping potion on me. Um, um, I didn't want to kill you. Just remember that. I just don't have a sleeping potion. I can't craft anything, huh? Yeah, so. My bad, but, uh, like. It's not my fault. Well, it is my fault for not being prepared, but it's also not my fault. I 
my goodness. I need a bit of practice. Oh, fuck you. I can't do anything in this game, dude. It's so annoying. I don't want to kill them. I was forced into it. You were freezing, and you had this empty stare. The water in the basin spoke to you, no? Yes. Exactly like the lightning-struck tree. I was something else for a brief moment. Tell us. Visions like this are guides, a keys for the sacred rituals. I was in the sky. I was floating, carried by the wind. And it was a cold feeling. I was high up, and it was getting colder and colder. I felt my blood freezing in my veins. I fell to the ground and spun slowly. And then the sun warmed me. Suddenly I bounced on the ground. And I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Then, just like before, the vision dissipated. And I was suddenly with you again. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. On this stone, the sun is visible. The drawing on this stone makes me think of... This drawing looks like an infant. Here, this looks like a snowflake. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. This stone is blackened, eaten away. This stone bears the image of a storm. What was it? It was wind, cold, sun, um, I need a bit of practice. Fuck you. So annoying. I'm so confused. Did the game break? Because I can't do anything else. Oh. Ah, uh, now it's gone. Um, so whatever. That just felt like it was glitched. <laughs> this must be the seal that Glendan spoke. Of. It looks like the silhouette of the mountain of Tirfredi, and a face is drawn within it. The spirit of the volcano, one of the faces of Einar Frichtemann. That was weird. None of what we just did made any fucking sense. But okay.
Bear tear to mud on all Manawi. I congratulate you for passing the trial. Enter. And so you have returned. Can you tell me what the seal deep within the cavern brings into your mind? A face in the mountain of Tirfredi. Then you have seen the true face of the island when looking into her waters. And the island has seen inside you. You have given the blood of the animals that protected the entrance to the passage. You have chosen strength a first time. In the second room, you have awoken the Dosentats to better best them. Finally, you have completed the ritual. And in so doing, the Guardian recognized you as a wise man. You choose to trust the way of rules and wisdom. It is a difficult path, but it carries generous fruits. The island has seen your intelligence and also your compassion. The friendship of Katasak towards you no longer surprises me. Am I authorized to encounter Enor Mil Frichterman now? To present him with my request? If the High King agrees, yes. We shall not oppose that decision. Only a High King or High Queen is allowed to open the sanctuary. I warn you, your voyage is far from over. I suppose that I'm going to need to convince them as well. Where can I find them? I do not know. And I believe that it may be another trial on your path to find the one you seek. Is he hiding? Has he been captured? He disappeared several months ago. Since then we have not heard from him. He was worried about the Renaixe. The last people to have seen him, I'm told, were the most important chiefs of the clans here at the council. There was Dedra, Blatnid, Ulan and Dunkas. My mother, alas, can tell us nothing more. Yes. I heard about your loss, Yora. And divorced, Tirse. Mourning is a difficult time to pass. And divorced, Tirse. Thank you, Glyndon. Dedra is the Mal of the clan of the Storm Warriors. You will find her in the village of Vedlug. I've already met her. She sent me to confront a guardian. That sounds like her. Ulan is the mall of the village of Vignamri, near the coast. It is said that he welcomes the Renaxe. As for Dunkas, he leads the Vigigidor. He is the chief of the Earth Healers. His village is not very far from the Didekid and Nadages. Very well. I will go and see them. Try to find this High King. Thank you, Glendad. Kwa Walam said. I hope that you will find him. Okay. Let's keep it going. Dude, we're going back way too much to Dr. Constantine. <sighs> Yeah, our legendary weapons aren't as good as it was. And I can't use this ring until my mental power's at four. Because apparently I'm stupid as shit. Talk to Constantine, leave, go find the people. Talk to Constantine, leave, go find the people. Talk to Constantine, leave, go find the people. That's all we're doing. It's just rinse and repeat. And I was wrong. There's more there's more quests than I thought there were, so it's probably like still like another seven or so videos. I just wanna get this done so I can focus on other games. Just because this Lieutenant, is... Lieutenant, I demand an explanation. Tell us what is going on. We 
haven't heard anything about Lord Dorsey's condition in spite of our inquiries. We are extremely worried. And then, all of a sudden, one of his guards appears, shaken and on his own, though he is part of his retinue. Please, allow me the chance to shed some light, my lady. Your soldier is nothing more than a coward for abandoning his highness. Tell me, what is going on? This soldier has just reported in. He is asking for reinforcements. He believes that Lord Dorsey has been attacked. He believes? He ran here without full knowledge of what happened firsthand. I... I was sent on patrol far from the camp. But I heard screams from men and from beasts. I wanted to return to camp, but then I heard a deafening sound. Grinding like a landslide. I thought then it would be best just to go and get help. Why was Constantine even over here? Thank you, Lieutenant. You are dismissed. I would like to have a discussion with this man alone. Yes, sir. My lady, could you lead these fine people into the hallway, if you would be so kind? Certainly. I deplore this embarrassing turn of events. But know that you have my full support in all circumstances. In the interest of avoiding a general panic, tell me precisely what happened back there. Your cousin ordered us to escort him beyond the town limits. The islander convinced him to go on some journey. By Islander, do you mean the Denegad that came to treat his affliction? Yes. A, a strange bird. Missing more than one feather, you ask me, sir. I, I was ordered to set up patrol along a small path, rather far from the rest of the company. I was told to protect our perimeter from anyone wandering along. According to the Islander, it was the only access to their planned destination. I did my rounds for quite some time. Not a soul came along. But then I heard cries a ways off, and I went running to help. I heard an enormous crashing sound, li like an avalanche of rocks. So then I turned right back around. And you ran all the way here? Do you know precisely where the company was when you heard these sounds? No, not precisely. I hadn't gone there. But I could show you where I was posted. The Islander said they were following the path, but he was quite a ways ahead when I lost sight of them. Why didn't you go and look for yourself? To see if they had been buried by a rock slide? What? Alone? What could I have done? It seemed of greater urgency to go and get help. I'm still having trouble deciding if cowardice or intelligence got the best of you. But that's a question for your superiors. My cousin was quite weak. Do you know why he decided to follow the Denegad? His Highness was feeling much better. The potions that he was drinking must have been potent. I mean to show no disrespect to His Highness, but that Islander had the high ground in the War of Wits. I wasn't privy to their counsel. I haven't the beginning of an explanation for the expedition. But your cousin was all full of enthusiasm and ordered that we set out as quick as we could make ready. That sounds like him. What sort of mess has he gotten himself into? Again. I am sorry, sir. But I don't know anything else I could tell you. Dismissed, soldier. Looks like I'm going on an expedition. Thank you, sir. Okay. So yeah, see, these are the other quests I was talking about. Um... No. Let's get Constantine's mission done. Because his he has three more missions in that quest line for us to do. So I'd rather get those done. Because the quest line we're on still has like four or five more missions. Something like that. The, the cure quest line. It still has three or four missions. So I'd rather... Uh, rather just wait to do those and just get Constantine's done. And I think Constantine's happens in waves. So we'll do this mission and then by the time we're done with it, uh, Constant, it's gonna make us go back to do the cure one. We'll do a mission or two over there and then we'll have to help Constantine again. And it's gonna keep going like that for a while because 
<sighs> because Constantine is sick. So it's just gonna keep like slowly updating us with uh, all his shit. But yeah, we're looking pretty good so far. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting pretty close to having the game done. We got probably, probably seven episodes. I want to get it done because, like, I, it's not that I'm not enjoying this experience, but I really want to play um, The Sinking City. I really want to play it. And I told myself, even though that the, uh, Greed Falls is a secondary playthrough, I told myself I want to finish filming this before I film The Sinking City. But this is just, it's long in part. Some of this is boring. The last few stuff, like the last like probably two or three episodes have been kind of boring. Like it picked up a lot in the middle. Like the game started getting really good. You know, I started enjoying the story and everything. And then it got boring as hell for like two or three episodes. This is the camp that just nothing was happening. Established. It looks more like a battlefield. I hope that Omegad and your cousin survived the fight. Search the zone. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what's happened here. The tents were lacerated by what looks like claws. And there are traces of blood everywhere. Some of these men must have been attacked in their sleep. By beasts? Most of the weapons are missing. Our soldiers wouldn't have taken a rest without defenses. Our soldiers were attacked by surprise, and there were animals among the assailants. However, our men reacted properly. They were armed, and they fled as best they could. There are no bodies, and no sign of Constantine or Katasak's presence here. Perhaps they were in another place, and the soldiers wanted to join them. We need to follow the tracks. I just want to say there's this bodies everywhere, so I don't know what the fuck we were talking about. entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the zone and taken this path followed by their assailants. This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. It isn't really a place of a cult, uh, but rather a place of anchoring. A place where Donegada performed a ritual to become Sinor Menawi. These places are charged with great energy. Perhaps Katasak wanted to use it to bring relief to your cousin. Perhaps. There are bodies, and without a doubt there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. More tracks. Footprints. They must have fled this way. These weapons are in terrible condition. Whatever did these men come up against? This path seems to have been scorched. More signs of an explosion. I can't believe that our soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. These poor salt new footprints. It looks as if a group met up with them and took this path. There was more fighting over here. There are footprints. Only a handful made it up to here. The path stops on this overhang. And despite signs of a skirmish, I can't see any sign of Constantine or Katasak. Asshole. were broken as if they had taken cannon fire what could have happened here 
I don't recognize these men. Still more unknown soldiers. Could they have been responsible for the attack? This one is carrying a letter. Let's see. According to this note, these men came from a nearby camp, an old outpost of the Alliance taken over by the Coin Guard. They could well have decided to finish what they'd planned in Userene. I don't know where it wants me to go. These vials look familiar. Katasach used the very same to stock his potions. He must have come here. I'm going to pick them up. I recognize this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantine, what have you gotten yourself into again? Very well, let's sum things up. Constantine and Katasach definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual, but they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? You cannot suspect my people are behind this attack. You have strayed far from the path. No one would have attacked Katasach. Unless he himself was behind it. He is a powerful Donegad. The beasts obey him. How could you even think something like that? He is a healer. He brought comfort to your cousin. Perhaps he only did it to gain our trust. With Constantine captive, he now has leverage to apply to the colonists and force them to accept his conditions. But in all truth, I have no idea what to think. But regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. We could return to Wen Xavier to learn more. Perhaps Katasak returned there. Or maybe his Voglandai could tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers were involved in the combat, or at least the end of it. They must have some stories for us. That trail seems a better one to follow. Katasach is a good man, but the soldiers and the lions have already betrayed you. That's true, but I do not see how they could have made these animals obey them. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay. Okay. I think I'm gonna question the, uh, the Alliance first. I think I'm gonna do the alliance first, which is right over there. How do I get over there? Oh, it's that one? Okay, so I go back the way we came and make a left. Okay, so I go this way and then I make a left right down here. The line, the outpost is closer too, and I would expect it to be the outpost more than I would expect it to be the natives. And the, the natives have been mostly friendly, so I don't really see them doing that. And that one guy helped us out a lot. So I don't think he would actually take Constantine like that. But then again, our character did have some logic there and like how, how would they control the animals? You know? Colonials. You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? Disarde. I am legate of the congregation of merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay. But we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. I am Captain Idris of the Coin Guard. I am the ranking officer in charge of this outpost. What can I do for you, sir? 
I'm looking for Constantine Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rat hole? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive. Wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like. But me? I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? I can see how difficult your present situation has become. I'm certain you haven't been paid either for quite some time. I cannot solve all of your problems, but what would you say if I took care of that one, at least? A little gold would certainly improve the morale of my men. One of the men I posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed unconscious two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. His wounds are extremely serious. He's just refusing to die. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Because, I mean, if I don't have to go to that other village, th that'll be nice. What are you doing there? This is an infirmary! I know. I've come to see the wounded soldier. The captain told me you might need my help. That is very kind of him. But alas, it's a little late. What are you saying? Is the soldier... No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might... Um, okay. See if we have the necessary materials to craft it. Oh, right here. 
Nightshade berries and Fuck that, I'm not doing that. I'd have to level all the way up again. <sighs> oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, wait, this is all I can do now? I can't even go to the village? Oh, yeah, I can. Fuck. And I, I have to get that potion to talk to him, huh? Shit. Yeah, I did. Uh, I'm going to the other village. I'm never gonna deal with this anymore. I have to have science one. I have to get these berries. I don't know where the hell the berries are. They don't have a merchant here, so I can't just buy whatever I need. Uh, um, alright, so uh, I'm gonna end the video here. Next episode, we'll pick it up in that uh, village. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Greedfall. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Stay safe out there. And peace out, guys.